Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Gallic on Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And today we are doing a very long overdue Dragon Ball hauls. Uh, so we're waiting on a big package and we also picked up a few things at the Supernova last weekend. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it, shall we? Okay, now since we've already uh, opened one of these a few months back, uh, we're gonna open up the Master Roshi and check him out. But while we open him up, I would just like to apologize for the lack of content uh, for the last month or so guys. It has been over two months since I've gotten behind the camera and I haven't edited anything in probably about five weeks. Um, just had nothing um, hectic going on, just uh, life's just been very good and just very enjoyable. Uh, and I just have been finding it hard to find time to edit and the other thing is um, I haven't been getting a lot of new stuff in primarily because uh, I'm currently saving for a house of my own because uh, as you can see behind me uh, things are getting a little bit too crowded in here and unfortunately I'm gonna actually have to pack up my SH figures so uh, I'm actually gonna do that tonight so this will be the last time you guys will ever see the SH figures on display uh, unfortunately until I'm in my new house hopefully sometime next year but uh, yeah so saving for a house of my own and that's the goal and uh, yeah so no SHV Guts reviews uh, since you know the SHV Guts are going to be going packed away um, I will quickly show you guys my SHV Guts when they come in but as for uh, unpacking them and reviewing them I won't really be doing that but we'll get on to the rest of this unboxing. So, here's the first one. The Master Roshi with the Jackie Chun head. Uh, and he also comes with the other Master Roshi head. And the one with the glasses. Now, if uh, <clears throat> you guys follow the channel, you know, I've already reviewed the Master Roshi that's sitting up here. So if you want to see a review and get a closer look at that, by all means, uh, check out the review for him on the channel. But definitely a really fantastic figure, and I was so impressed with him, I needed to get a second one. Now, I'm pretty hyped for this Broly, so let's crack him open next. Uh, I think I'm probably the most excited for him and the Super Master Star Piece uh, Manga Dimensions Goku, but... Uh, let's see which one I like more because the black haired version of this I've got up there, you know, it's not the same but it's, it's got some of the same pieces but it's different uh, I am a really big fan of that figure and oh, he, oh that's right of course he comes with a stand because of the poses in it. but uh, I really love that figure and I've been looking forward to this for ages, it's been sitting in my pile of loot with Big Bad Toy Store. So now we finally get to open him up. And the best thing is, since the SH figures are getting packed away tonight, we're actually going to have somewhere to put them and future uh, Master Lies pieces and Ichiban Kuji, Bun Presto, all that good stuff. Uh, because I was definitely running out of room for all of that. So, let's get... Uh, might help if you uh, put his little ear of bar um, sash thing on first. Right. Okay. That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. I did not actually think the hands were like that, uh, sorry, the arms were like that, so I'm actually really, really hyped, um, like more hyped for this than I was, because it's a lot more different in its pose compared to the blackhead version. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Let's get this stand going. Oh, that is really tidy. That's really, really tidy. So 
How awesome is that? I'm really digging that. So I will definitely have a review for that guy up sometime soon. Um, just, yeah, just finding time uh, between work and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely, don't worry guys, haven't disappeared. Um, just content maybe a little bit, uh, uh, just content may be a little scarce uh, for probably the next year or so uh, because all my spare money that probably would usually go towards uh, just splurging on figures is now going towards uh, house funds. So the only things I'm really going to be actively collecting is the SH figure arts, but I won't be opening them until I've got my place. And just really what I consider essential Barn Presto and Ichiban Kuruji figures. So that's probably going to be pretty limited to just stuff I really, really like. But yeah, it's going to be going to be a bit rough. But we can uh, we can do this. We'll still have some content. So here's the SH Figarts Raditz. I've had him sitting here for maybe like a week or two because I knew other stuff was coming. So I figured I'd just save it for the Dragon Ball hauls. And then we've got Zamasu that's also been sitting in my pile of loot with Big Bad Toy Store for god knows how long. But yeah, uh, really keen to open those, but unfortunately uh, I'm going to be waiting on that for probably um, at least a year. But that's alright, it's going to be like Christmas Day, like one big Christmas Day when I get to open all my SH figures again. So yeah, alright, let's continue this on. So this Goku... I bought it at the con, I was a bit disappointed with the size, um, but it looked like a pretty decent figure. They had it on a really low shelf, so, like, I don't think it really did it justice. Uh, but the thing was, they really didn't have a lot there, uh, so I only really picked up the Gotenks, the Nero Grandista Goku, and then this. Um, and then I wasn't even going to pick this up. This was kind of the last thing I picked up on the way out of the show. And, yeah. Let's have a look how good it looks. Alright, so colouring looks pretty good. Sculpt looks pretty good. I'll also be reviewing this guy in due time. He'll probably be the last of all this lot to get reviewed. Most likely. Alright. Nice simple figure. I appreciate simple. Wow, that is damn simple. <laughs> really, really simple. Alright. There you go, guys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Little world of the Kai's as the base. He's just, yeah, he's throwing his spirit bomb. Pretty boss. Okay, let's move on to the Go Tanks. And we will save the Grand Eastern Nero Goku for next. And then last, we're going to do the uh, Super Master Star Piece Goku. Because that one I've been waiting for for so long. Um, I've, ha I've had the the A prize or uh, just the regular edition down there for ages so it's good to finally have the 2D. Now this guy I wasn't actually gonna buy um, I passed on him multiple times when I've seen him at Zing for sale uh, really awesome figure I did want him but like I said I've been really just saving money and trying not to buy something um, unless you know I really really need it or want it uh, and this I just felt like maybe I could kind of go without it and uh, I had some funds set aside for Supernova and they didn't really have a lot but they did have this so I figured it was a good chance to pick it up and I tell you what I'm quite glad that I did because it is really cool it is really really cool and it's going to just enhance that display so much more 
when I finally got a decent sized collection room and can set some really awesome displays to show you guys but how good is that just so so awesome I love that these GX material figures are really really dope um, really keen for that I think there's a freezer that's come out too um, I feel like I, I feel like I've been a little bit um, off my game lately guys because um, instead of looking at figures and shit um, I'm looking at houses and looking at different areas and um, where prices are going up not so much uh, focusing on the collecting game uh, it's been a nice break uh, I'm not gonna lie but I'm keen to get back into it and I'm most keen to get this house and actually set up like a proper studio with like just, that's fully set up ready to go so I don't have to set up lighting I don't have to set up cameras or anything I can literally have everything there ready to go get some good quality equipment some better lighting some better like get some microphones and stuff uh, and just yeah have a really good uh, setup for doing the YouTube and have a dedicated room just for the YouTube set just for doing reviews so then it, it takes out so much of the work and just makes it so much easier so there is no no prep work it's just kind of just jump straight into it turn the camera on unbox the new stuff we're ready to go jump straight into the editing process uh, because at the moment things are just so cramped here uh, it really makes it difficult to get things going with with really filming or editing uh, just adding a bed just really killed the space in here so yeah hopefully soon guys hopefully soon but that is so cool that is so cool um, yeah I've actually been eyeing this one off as well at Zing for like probably a month or two so it was good to be able to pick that one up at the convention as well now this one once again another thing that was sitting in my pile of loot just waiting to uh, just ship a heap of things instead of just shipping like one thing because those of you that buy from America if you live in Australia you know how expensive the shipping can get so sometimes it's just easier to just let your shipping build up with something like Big Bad Toy Store that has that option so then you're not paying $50 to ship one figure like say the Go Tanks or something um, because that's usually what it costs me opposed to paying like maybe 150 for a box that's like five times the size with a lot more stuff in it so the only downside is sometimes you've got to wait maybe like a month or two or longer for uh, stuff to accumulate to make it worth your while to ship it all at once but let's uh, get into this last figure all right how awesome is that i don't know if the 2d really shows up well like that um should show up a lot better on the uh on the review stand so yeah um stay tuned for that guys should be really good but yeah i really dig that um not too sure whether to display all my manga dimensions together or uh maybe if i display this with the other one i'm not too sure i'll have to figure out how my display is going to work after all these guys get packed away uh, but yeah thank you for joining me in today's video and um, once again guys sorry for the absence uh, sometimes life just gets in the way and sort of youtube becomes less of a priority um, but for all the all of those of you that have been commenting and uh, sending messages just uh, saying hoping i'm well and hoping everything's good yes guys everything's good um, never better in fact we're just moving forward to bigger and better things uh, but unfortunately we're going to be in a little bit of a, a transitional period where things will be slowing down to hopefully pick up a lot more in the future so yeah just uh, stay with me guys promise I'm not going anywhere um, just content may be like I mentioned before a little bit more scarce moving forward 
Alright fellow collectors, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right there and join the Galagon Toys Army. Don't forget you can also follow me over on Facebook and Instagram at Galagon Toys to connect with me there too. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.